Are grass type Pokemon vegan? A friend of mine just asked me this, so I thought I'd make a video about it. And to tell you the truth, I don't really know. Like, at what point can is it ethical to pick sunflower seeds from a sunflora, or sunflora seeds, excuse me, and have that be ethical? Would it feel pain? Does a sunflora have a nervous system? Look at that smile. I mean, it definitely has facial features. So I, I guess maybe it would be unethical. It's dependent on if it's ethical or not. Or like when you lop off a Maractus's arm just to have whatever cactus juice that's in inside of it, would it feel that arm being lopped off? That's really morbid. That's gross, actually, to think about it. Or when you have, like, cherries from, like, uh, a cheruby, um, or, like, a cherum of some kind, would they... I, I guess maybe some type of Pokemon... I, I have to double-check the dex entries, but I'm pretty sure that some of them scream when they're eaten alive. It's pretty dark. The, when you read the dex entries for grass types that end up becoming prey, it's pretty, pretty dark. Um, or like, when you crack open an Exeggutor head, it's like a coconut, basically. But you're also cracking its skull open. Is that ethical? Probably not. And, I don't know, more lulz just look kind of cute. I wouldn't want to eat the, any of these. They're just cute, you know? And at what point do these guys have nervous systems? I guess that's the real question. Is it ethical to eat something that can look at you but doesn't have a nervous system? And if then, at what point does it become a living thing that could feel pain? Because when you look at a... I think... I know at Bound Suite's dex entry is like, if you look at its... Uh, it, when it runs away in fear and panic, it skips. Like it, like it's having a good time, but it's not. It's actually really, really scared and anxious. So nobody actually helps it out if it's in danger, because people are assuming that, oh yeah, Bounce Sweet's just having a good time, enjoying its day, frolicking in the sunlight, but no, it's being tracked down and chased. Because of its sweet scent, basically. That's messed up. A lot of Pokemon can use sweet scent. And it's just a magnet to all predator Pokemon. Which is a... Why aren't they extinct at this point? And another thing about, like, trees that I learned about is that, like, they communicate with each other with tiny frequencies. Almost like they're shrieking in pain, says some people. I don't know if they're experts in their field, but... That's what I've heard. So, like, if you, like, chop down a Trevenant, do they, like, feel... Do they feel it? Do they communicate with other Trevenant Pokemons about how they're gonna die? That's really morbid. I, I mean, they're ghost-type Pokemon, so I guess they're more dead than not dead. But does that still make it more ethical for vegans to kill them? If they so choose. That's, that's a really... I, I mean, there are regular trees out there in the Pokemon world, so... It's so easy to just find regular trees in, in nature. I mean, you went five generations without a tree Pokemon. Well, I mean, if you don't count Executor, but that's, that's whatever. That's like a, a different subspecies of trees that are found more in the tropics. I'm also thinking about how grass-type Pokemon also eat berries. And, like, looking at that, that bounce sweet, eating that, like, ooh, look at that berry. I'm gonna eat that. But, but it's just like you're eating your own kind, right? Isn't it a small berry eating a even smaller berry? So does that mean grass-type Pokemon are carnivorous in that sense? You know, like, they eat their own kind. Like, they eat something within their organism species. It would be like grass flesh. 
It kind of reminds me of that scene in Family Guy with the two seagulls. They're both at the dump, and they crack open like a six-pack of beer and a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. And one of them's... They're, they're both hammered, and they're just like... Well, one of them's just like, Dude, you're eating bird. And the other one's like, What? Dude, you're eating bird. That's bird. That's... That... That's... You're eating yourself, man. And... And the other one just realized what he had done, and he's just mortified and in shock that he ate of his own. And that's kind of how I think of grass-type Pokemon when they eat berries. Because that's, that's all Pokemon food is now. It's just berries and poffins and poke blocks, which are all made from berries. Like, it, do these Pokemon foods, do these berries have a lot of protein in them? I bet they do. I seriously bet they do. Now that I'm looking at all these berries, I'm definitely convinced that there's some kind of genetically modifications of all these berries. Because look at all how weird they're shaped. You don't find that in nature at all. It kind of reminds me of that scene in the Hoenn region where Ash just easily lifts up a log and chucks it. Like, you see any 10 year old doing that? With with those tiny arms that he's got, you gotta see you gotta see if he's on something. He's on some roids or something. Some of that Pokemon juice that he's that he's cooking up. The genetically modified Pokemon berry juice. But yeah, I think the main reason why Pokemon isn't vegan is because they can all lay eggs. Every single one of them. Doesn't matter if you're a mammal looking Pokemon, if you're an animal looking Pokemon, if you're a freaking plant Pokemon, they all lay eggs. Therefore, it's not ethical to eat them. Therefore, it's not vegan. The end. But if you are a vegan solely to just eat plants and not necessarily for the ethical side of it, then it could be debatable that certain types of Pokemon that are grass type that are like berry looking things can be vegan that's weird to think about depends if it has a nervous system I don't know you got me at a real gray area here cuz like it really depends we don't have the data indicating if a Pokemon can feel pain well I guess looking at Bulbasaur I, I keep going back to Bulbasaur Bulbasaur can feel pain look at Heracross suckling upon his bulb that's not nice he didn't ask for that yeah i'm gonna say it's not right I don't, i'm not i'm gonna say it's not vegan leave your comments down tell me what you think is it vegan or is it not okay i love you Bye bye